in this episode, we throw another shrimp on the Barbie, so... What? In this episode, we look at a character that has a license to grill. What am I doing? He's a fireman, not a chef. Anyway, in this episode, we'll be looking at barbecue. So, stick around. and Dorkettes and welcome to It Came From My Side of the Laundry Room. My name's Rob and in this episode we will be unboxing, playing with, and reviewing Barbecue from G.I. Joe Classified Line. Now, of course, this is a Target exclusive from the Cobra Island subset, if you will. And to be specific, he is named Gabriel Barbecue Kelly. That's his real name, Gabriel Kelly, and it's been that way since his very first file card. So, that's awesome. But I just find it weird that Hasbro, with their Joes and Transformers, they've had to do odd things with pretty typical names. And I don't mean typical names, but very, I mean, just normal words. Did someone copyright the word barbecue? I mean, that would be really weird. It's just a word. Not a special word at that. But anyway, yeah, just always found that odd. But I got this dude for Christmas and super excited to take a look at him. Always been one of my favorites. I mean, when he came out, a very unique style for a Joe. I mean, he has more akin to Cobra with his awesome helmet and very colorful outfit if you will and yeah he just really stood apart from a lot of the other Joes at the time he kind of went hand in hand with blowtorch with the color schemes of the oranges and all so it kind of fits you got blowtorch making the flames and barbecue putting them out so yeah really excited about that and like I said Santa brought this for me and while we're talking about Christmas gifts let me also show you this awesome shirt. Look at this, a Megaforce shirt. Has all the cool vehicles, has Ace Hunter, says the slogan, deeds not words. And speaking of awesome deeds, this was sent in by homeboy Gaz. The dude, I mean, <laughs> he has generosity just beaming off of him, I'm sure. I mean, he's graced me and us and the laundry room with some awesome gifts this past year. And yeah, I mean, he just sent these over as a Christmas gift. So I can't thank him enough for sending me this awesome shirt. And there's another one that, you know, of course I'll wear in a future episode and we'll talk about it then when I wear it. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at barbecue. Okay, folks, here we go. Barbecue. And I am super excited to jump in and take a look at this dude. And let me, before I get started, let me just say I'm using a new camera setup. So I hope it looks good. Hope it sounds good. If it doesn't, I apologize. And we will go back to the old way. But I thought it's a new year. So let's try something new. Anyway, here's the part where we open it up and it could get a little loud. So I apologize. But we want the full experience of cracking this dude open and enjoying it. So, here we go. Let's move the camera a little bit here. Oh, like I said, I'm still trying to learn this a little bit, so I apologize. But I'm hoping this setup will be better for... Uh, smaller items when we have to do close-ups and they won't be as blurry and things like that so oh before we get started what am I doing we always take a look at the package art here and that is an awesome picture and like I was saying he almost looks like a 
Cobra agent. I mean, he looks so tough and, I mean, almost robotic to a degree. I love this, like, blurry effect here. Like, maybe it's the haze from the heat of the fire he's putting out. And, okay, like last time, remember I said I was wearing gloves because my hands are nasty? Well, I forgot to wear the gloves, so I'm sorry if my hands offend anybody. So, don't look at those, look at the toy. Anyway... Here is the side artwork. Let me pull this camera back a little bit. And again, we got this awesome picture of him. Got the axe there. Oh, the axe is actually wrapped around from this photo. Or painting. Sorry, it's not a photo. Of course, you have the back, which is the Cobra Island art, which is awesome. And we have his specialties here. So does look a little bit blurry I apologize there we go so I'm not sure what these represent as usual I need to look it up this almost looks like a katana so maybe hand-to-hand -hand, first aid chemistry protection it's a shield we'll go with that sounds good to me so let's throw that to the side and take a look at him so Let's take a look at his gear first. We have his fire suppressant pistol, which, I mean, that looks just like an awesome pistol with a silencer, so anyone could actually use that. That's pretty cool. Actually has a hole here. I don't know if you can tell. So that's kind of cool, extra detail to it. So we will put that to the side. We have his awesome fire extinguisher backpack. And this is a cool added feature. Actually has some stickers on it. Kind of like a real fire extinguisher. So that's really cool. So put that over here. We have a big axe. Very cool for chopping down doors and Cobra. And let me just say, one of my earliest memories of barbecue was actually from the G.I. Joe comic book. Came with a hose. I think maybe he's the first one that comes with a hose. Just like the old days. Very cool. It's ribbed. So it's not just a normal plastic hose. There's a little bit of detail here on the ends. Very cool. But anyway, his G.I. Joe comic book appearance where he was going after a Hiss tank and used this to smash in the cockpit to get to the dude on the inside. Now, they never showed what he did to the dude on the inside, but I think it was implied since it was a do or die situation that this just, <coughs> just kept going to town on the poor Cobra dude inside so let's put that to the side as well and take a look at gabriel himself wow so much detail here on this oxygen tank in different um pouches here that's an interesting symbol Kind of like a gear. I wonder what that... Unless that's like a gauge. Maybe that's like a, his oxygen gauge. Hmm, interesting. Got like a pouch here. Good mobility with the head. Always extra bonus. Wow. And as usual... Ooh, a little stiff there with G.I. Joe classified. Great posability, great flexibility, and very chunky and responsive. I love that about him. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the hips, how they pop out of place sometimes, but that's great for posing. So he looks kind of off kilter at the moment because of that. 
So let's bring the camera down to his level. Sorry, again, still trying to get used to this. Get it in focus here. Very cool. I like this little green gauge here as well. That's kind of neat. Okay, cleared it up a little bit. Very cool. So, okay. Again, playing with the camera. Sorry about that. I will learn the ropes if it works, and it'll be better. Anyway, here we go. Do the standing test here. Oh, he is very top heavy with all this extra accoutrement and a heavy helmet. But I mean, this chunkiness looks great on him. I saw an awesome custom. Someone made a custom head for him and had it on and he was like holding the helmet. So that was a neat little custom that they did. He's going to look very striking with the rest of the Joes up on the shelf because he looks so different. He's bright and vibrant and yeah, he's just going to stand out and that's going to be awesome. So let's give him some of his gear, get that all set up. So first, his backpack. And it's great that he doesn't have any extra bandoliers and stuff. It's always such a pain to get it all lined up for the backpacks. So, just like the good old days, put the hose here, and I'm assuming the other end of the hose goes here. And what an awesome episode he was in, the Viper is Coming. Great episode. And it goes in there. Now, the hose seems a little too much when you're doing this. Might look better with him holding it. So let's... Ooh, goes in snug. That's always good. Backpack wants to come out. Come on. There we go. This stupid hip... So let's put the extinguisher blaster in his hand. Okay, come on now. Ooh. That's not good. Already has some like stress whitening here. Trying to get it in his hand. I don't like that very much. So let's try to open his hand up a little bit more and just slide it in. Because the pommel of this, as you can see, has some girth to it, which is causing it to be a pain to slide it in from the top. So there we go. And that hose, man. Here, let's see if we can do something with the hose. Fish it around this way, maybe. Try to take some of the... Yeah, that's much better. I like that. So, it looks pretty cool. Kind of bummed about the... Stress marks on it already. But we'll just leave it in that hand and we won't have any problems, hopefully. So now to his axes. Now his big axe goes back here. Put 
before we put it away, let's see what it looks like in his hands. And this would be an awesome axe for, like, snake eyes. I mean, to chop down some fools. Or anyone, really. It would be cool if I ever get a hold of Spirit and give him this axe. That would be cool. Because I always liked that the Sigma-6 Spirit came with, like, an axe, like a tomahawk. I always have so much trouble with these hands. I apologize, everybody. Maybe I should do these unboxing and reviews like the real guys and just edit all of that flubbing out. But I want it to be realistic. You know, what you will have to expect when you get them. So that looks pretty awesome. I like that. That looks pretty tough. Kicking the door of a house on fire. I'm here to save you! Ah! Very nice. Let's take what it looks like with his smaller hatchet. Let's take this off, put it here, but I think I might display him with the blade out. I don't want him to cut himself. Looks very cool. So now the small hatchet, which I always loved. I love the finger guards on it, the spiked guard. Punch some fools with it. Very nice. But I think, like I said, I like the bigger axe in his hands for display purposes. Keep it on his side. Because it's a very good place to display it. It's right there. So I am going to... We'll go with this one. Anyway, I am very super happy with this. I mean, I don't think there's ever been... Well, there's one that I wish they did better, but I am a fan of every classified figure that I have had the privilege of owning. Yeah, I think that looks pretty tough. Let me move the axe down a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. This is, will be his display pose. Very nice. And you can see the, ah, the hole in the barrel very well that I was talking about earlier. So yeah, there we go. That is G.I. Joe Classified Barbecue. Cobra Island Target Exclusive. Yeah, getting real tired of those exclusives. But anyway, yeah, super happy with it. Great figure. Great look. I mean, it's pretty much a great recreation of the original. So, can't go wrong with that. Anyway, not much more to say, even though I've talked an awful lot. So anyway, back to me. Back to me. Yes, again. Hasbro has knocked it out of the park with a great and faithful 
reproduction of an original G.I. Joe figure from the 80s. And, dude, I loved that character then, and I love this character now. They did a great job. I mean, they kept the essence of the original character and just built upon it. I mean, they've done a great job with that with a lot of the classified figures. There is a couple of them that they did some wonky things with, but I think now they're hitting their stride. And... Yeah, I mean, I think there's nowhere to go but up with this line. And with some of the newer ones that are being released, I am super excited to get my hands on them because, again, they are great reproductions of original figures. And what more do you want? Just a scaled-up version of the Joes that we played with as kids and collect now. So anyway, again, thanks to Gaz for this awesome shirt. And thanks for all of you for watching. So, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the episodes that YouTube is recommending down here, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Keep being rad, and stay dorky!